Yes, it worked. Okay. Um, so we're going to the concluding remarks and where to go from here, also known as the workshop outro. So thanks to everyone who was attending. Um, this was a fun course to give. We had a lot of new people and new instructors and we're getting closer to the sustainability point of view. Uh, thanks to everyone who attended. I don't know how many people were working in teams here. So basically had people in a organized group together attending. But anyone who was able to do that, thank you for coming. This was really, that was, that's really good, exactly what we want. We would like to thank all of the instructors who are listed on the workshop webpage. Um, I won't say their names again here, so I don't have to remove them from the videos. But yeah, I mean, instructors have put in a lot of work to go and well, make this happen. We also had a lot, bunch of people answering questions in the notes, as you may have seen and found. Um, these people took a lot of time to do that. And the local partners who organized the any possible in-person things and so on. Um, we'd like you to keep giving us feedback. So in the notes, you can keep adding things. It is in there now. Uh, yeah, we see it's here. Please keep adding stuff. Um, you can send up by email or you can join our chat if you wanted and say some things. Um, so you can always use Git itself by making issues or pull requests to help update our lesson materials. In fact, you could say that our whole course is a way um, our whole course is a way is teaching you how to update our materials because everything we use, we teach in the course. Um, and we keep developing based on your feedback. So let us know. In about six months, you may get a post-workshop survey, which will basically ask how your work has been changed and updated based on what we did, what you learned in this course. And this is really important to fill out because it really provides the best indicator to the people that fund us that we've done something useful and they will keep funding it. So I'd really encourage you to keep studying and asking for support. So this is a starting course, but these are very applied and not theoretical topics. So most of what you'll learn will be on your own after this. So I would say Starting off, you have the course, and it gives you some ideas, lets you do some things. But the next step is to work on things along with someone else. So someone who can be there and help you at answer your questions locally. We have these partners below we can talk about. But even if it's just another colleague, do talk about the things you've learned here and ask for help because it's new. Um, and then even after that's done, there's still plenty more you'll be learning yourself. Never start doing web searches or whatever to find new things that you can use based on what you've seen here. We have these things called bring your own code sessions. And it's basically a way you can bring your code or well, I guess other questions and come talk to us instructors and we'll look at things together with you. And it's basically like a follow-up Q&A mentoring kind of session. So this is a way we can help with the follow-up ourselves. Um, you can continue to review everything that we have here. The lessons stay available indefinitely and get updates. As you know, we have videos published. The main point of these videos is for you, our learners now, to go and re-review things during yourself afterwards. And you can reuse these materials as much as you'd want. So there's a bunch of different partners that are part of the Code Refinery project. Um, I think, yeah, did we have, yeah, I think we had people from all of these here, maybe not 
10 mark this time. But anyway, the point is that locally in your country, you have people that hopefully want to answer um, questions about these things and can help you follow up. If you're at Alta University, we have plenty of things. Basically, come to our daily sessions anytime and we can follow up and help you do these things. And I think probably is the same for more of the stuff. Um, we just have listed on Nordic countries here because we're a Nordic project, but there's more in other countries that you need to find yourself. If you want a certificate, that's on the course webpage. I don't really know much more other than what is there, so please um, read it yourself if you're interested. Uh, tell people about us. So let people know that it's a good workshop and um, they could, should come in the future. Or even recommend to your institution or yourself, join us as either a team leader or become part of the team, an instructor in the future, a supporter. There's all kinds of people doing stuff in the background, which we need help with to keep stuff working. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we already talked about these things. The newsletter is a good way to hear of what's going on, other interesting tidbits and so on. And if you really like the kind of things that we're talking about now, um, you can look into this thing called research software engineers, which is basically people that are researchers, but they're focused more on the technology. So they're more interested in making the research technology better rather than getting as many citations as they can for themselves. So it's a different kind of career path that has a different kind of focus. So it's still sort of a new thing in some places, but it's something that would be worth reading about. Okay, um, any other comments or things from the notes? I will switch there. Um, let's see. Please give feedback. This is not much feedback and we need more um, in order to see how it went. Um, yeah. Okay, there's a question here. Are there any good AI tools which can automatically generate a test code? I think there are probably some, but I don't know them myself. I think someone will probably come in and fill in the answer later. Um, yeah. Is there anything else? Are there any other instructors around who want to join the studio and say any final words? Yeah, I'm very happy uh, I'm here today. <laughs> It's yeah. a very good time to learn uh, from uh, from each other. I saw uh, quite good answers and uh, comments, suggestions in the notes. Yeah. Uh, I will read them through later. <laughs> yeah. I think today went quite well overall. So um, we had some good sessions and yeah, the most sincere thanks to everyone who stuck with us all this time. And yeah, I really hope that this will improve your work and that you can reteach these to other people later on. Okay, so I guess I will turn it off for now. Is there any final news? So I think most of the news was in this outro session. Um, and there's no future session. So yeah, that's that. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye. Thank you, bye.